Hey, so this is just a quick video about the Synthesizer.com Q960 sequencer. Is that number right? Yeah, 960. So uh, one of the things I've always wanted to be able to do with this is have an external clock in, which it doesn't offer. It does have, and I'm going to move this over here, it does have a control input, but this is actually a control voltage, so it's a voltage controlled oscillator. What I wanted to be able to do was to have a, an actual, just send a clock to it uh, from my DAW or from some external source and have it track. Um, you can do that with their Q119 sequencer. It has an internal external, internal external oscillator. But you don't have that on the 960. And I end up using the 960 as the master often. I don't know why, but it just ends up that way. So um, I thought I would dig into the manual. And I found out something very interesting, and let me show you. So right now, I'm going to turn it on, and it's running at a certain speed. I've got the gate output from the Q174 MIDI going into this control input, and I made a, a wire change on the inside, which I'll show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a gate through MIDI from my DAW. As soon as I turn it on, you'll see that the speed will change and lock into the DAW. I turn it off, now it's free running again. Totally cool. So let me show you all how I did that. Okay, so this is the uh, diagram that comes with the Q960 when you buy it. Uh, it's a layout of circuit board, and, it, and they have uh, indications of what all the plugs and jacks are. So over on the right side of this picture as I'm showing it, uh, if you go down where I drew the little light blue arrow, so it's coming from what's called uh, voltage controlled frequency. And that's what's going to that jack on the front that I plugged into. All you have to do is unplug that and go down two jacks to where it says oscillator control. That's vacant. And you just plug it in there. <laughs> Couldn't be easier. So unplug it from voltage control frequency, plug it into oscillator control, and now you can send uh, external gates to the Q960. Now, the reason I wanted to do that, I wanted to also explain, um, of course you can gate the shift and you can have the sequencer run. It's just not putting out a oscillator on the main oscillator output. That's okay, you can double the gate that you're using for the shift by going through a multiple, fine. But I also use the 963 trigger bus because that way I can uh, send gates to different voices. This is a very cool, if y'all haven't got that, this is a very, very cool module. So, uh, and that's what I was doing just then. Well, that doesn't work if it's not got that internal clock. So that's been my problem. I've been wanting to use that feature, but clock it externally. So here we go. Um, it's either or. You either have voltage control of your oscillator or you have uh, the gate control. Uh, I don't ever use voltage control. One last thing, when you set the oscillator in the sequencer, you're gonna have to dial it in so that it syncs up with the external clock. It's not just gonna be automatic. Uh, it's kind of similar to the, I think it's the Q174 MIDI. Uh, maybe it's the 175, the one that has the arpeggio and it has an external clock in. It's kind of the same thing. If you, if you overclock the manual adjustment, it tends to override what you're sending in. You have to have it sort of in the area or in the range of the clock that you're sending in. Same thing here. Uh, turns out that actually if I turn it up a little faster, uh, then when I put the external clock in, it drops down to the correct speed. So anyway, I thought that was very cool. Just passing it on to you guys. Let's go make some music.